I'd like to welcome the gentleman in the house now, Bishop Natanya. Welcome to GH Radio One. Well, thank you so much for having me, Tad. Thank you. All praises to the Most High. I'm so glad for being here. Amen. Right. Great. It's been a while, but um, it's always good to be away and then come back with a fresh knowledge of uh, some kind of new knowledge and ideas on the radio. Yes. Right. Mm. I quite know, probably, you've been watching the news and seeing the splash of human life going down just like nothing. Meaningless. And... Um, brings a lot of sorrow to the world and people feeling so bad about it now what would you say is happening in the wake of these killings suicide bombing killings of all sorts in the name of religion well i'd say that prophecy is coming to pass and you know people are crying all in the world for paris france you gotta remember these people these people they are the Devil, the Bible speaks of. And what is what I mean, Tad? France, France, they, there are 14 African countries that have to pay a colonial tax to France. That makes the nations impoverished. Nobody speaks up for this. Nobody speaks up against this. This is evil. The foreign reserve, uh, they, they got to put all their money into the foreign reserve of the Central Bank of France. Many 14 African nations have to do that. And just a, a couple of weeks ago, about 146 uh, Africans got killed. I forgot what country slips the top of my head. But nobody makes mention. They're like, oh, well, so what? But as soon as the white man. You are talking about died. you are talking about in Kenya, 149 yes. uh, Africans were shot dead in the same manner in which they died in, in, in France by the same right. kind of terrorist. Thank you, Ted. And nobody cares. Everybody asks, so what? But as soon as the white man gets killed, everybody, oh, Lord, yeah, everyone's crying. You have got to be kidding me. Look, I got to read a scripture for you, Tad. I got to read a scripture. Job chapter 18, verse 11 says, Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. So what you see, terrorist activity is prophesied in the Bible to come to pass on the dominant culture, the dominant wicked culture god says terror shall drive him to his feet so what we're seeing is going to happen it is going to happen to i i got and I, I guarantee you none of your church ministers can go into the bible and prove these things that i'm saying to you today not now Ted, let me give another scripture in ezekiel ezekiel chapter 28 and verse 7 this is what God says about this mighty last nation, which is America and her allies, which includes France. Ezekiel 28, 7. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. When the Bible says the terrible of the nations, that is an ancient term. Today we have a more modern term for terrible of the nations. We call them what? Terrorists. That is the modern term, terrorists. But in ancient times, they called them the terribles. You understand? It's talking about the same thing. So what you see happening in France, it's going to happen in America. It's going to happen in all throughout Europe. You understand what I'm saying, Ted? Be an, 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 something that the world will have to experience for a very long time and what will bring it to an end that's right this is going to bring us to the brink of world war three that's what it's going to do and do not be surprised tad if the weapons that isis have right their weapons don't be surprised if you find out that america has been giving it to them to funnel this war do not be shocked don't be oh i can't understand it You've been thinking a white man, not you, Tad, but many of our people, think this white man is God and Jesus Christ. No, they are the wicked the Bible speaks of. Understand that. Understand that. Now, when you go to the New Testament, in the book of John, chapter 10 and verse 10, this is what Christ said, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So who was the thief that was coming that came to steal and kill and destroy? At that time, it was Rome. But it was just the same white man of today that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. It's the same white man. You understand that, Tad? 
Go ahead. You know what? I was surprised. Even Ghana has to pay a colonial tax to the U United Kingdom. They got to pay an income tax, capital gains tax, petroleum income tax, minerals and mining tax to the United Kingdom. So are you free? Your people are not free. And but your presidents cannot speak those, against this. Those payment of taxes have stopped now. Are we not growing out of that? That's right. That's we in Ghana. Those things have gone now. It's gone. All the taxes is gone out of Ghana? Are yeah, you sure? No, I mean, like, we're no more paying those taxes and commitment to the colonial masters. You know what? This is what they do. They they no longer call it a colonial uh, pack, but they cloud it with other words. Like, um, for many of the nations, they have something called, what was it called? Uh, a foreign reserve. Right. Foreign reserve uh, policy, which there's an allocation of money that goes to European countries. Like, remember when Guinea wanted to go against... France, about, oh. I believe it was in, when was it, uh, 19, it might have been, let me see, let me think, let me think, right. 1958, when the president of Guinea demanded independence from France. France was so mad, they destroyed their libraries, they destroyed, destroyed their schools, they destroyed, destroyed all their infrastructure. Then a coup happened, and General rose up and said, I'm it over Guinea. France was behind us. That's what the Europeans do. That's what they do. If you do anything they don't like, a coup, you pay a general or someone several million dollars, they'll overthrow the government and say, oh, they were corrupt. No, but the white man is always, this is his trick. This is his policy. You understand that, Ted? All right. Don't be scared. No, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to be scared ever. Anyway, let's come back to this one. Now, why yes. would you think God's creation has turned all around massacring ourselves killing ourselves is it to excite him when people kill in the name of god and say this is for god well this is what this is what it is the most bloodiest religion on earth people may say let me ask you ted what is the bloodiest religion on earth my belief doesn't give a situation to any specific one but as a matter of fact they are in different ways i don't give as a situation to one particular uh, religion for that so I don't have a straight away, straightforward answer to that. Unless, of course, you are going to tell me what you have. Okay. Since you're scared to say it, I'm going to say it. Christianity is the world's bloodiest religion. It's not Islam. Islam follows second. But Christianity, not only did they enslave us, they destroyed our culture, our language. These people, tat, and then they gave us a lie of a white Jesus. This is all lie. Let me read the scripture to you, Tad. Now, tell, tell me more before you go into the description. You just made it clear that Christianity is the bloodiest religion on earth, and then Islam follows. Now, tell me how, why, what, what's the bloodiest aspect of the Christianity and that of the Islam? Okay. With Christianity, remember, under Columbus, 1492, not only did they slaughter 200 million native Indians that were here throughout Central and South America, 200 million, Tad, 200 million, changed their language and culture. Then the slave trade came in in the 1600s where they killed over 100 million blacks that they brought over. Okay, then they slaughtered 77 million native Indians in North America. So, you know, when people cry about six, the Holocaust of six million, Tad, can you measure 6 million to 100 million blacks at all? Is there an equality there? No. No, not at all. We live through the worst holocaust of all time. But nobody gives a damn about us, Tad. We are hated by all nations. These nations are going to find out that we are... Is that what you keep referring to the inculcation of the white man? I mean, the religion. Uh, the, 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 the populist religion in the world. Talk about... The, they're inculcating what they think that uh, they can use to cover up things... Yes, this is what they do. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let me go to Matthew 24. Matthew 24, many of the churches read it, but they don't understand it. I am going to read Matthew chapter 24, and let me see what verse it is. Bear with me a second. Okay, verse 5. I started 4 and 5. It says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ." and shall deceive many most people don't understand who that's talking about who came and said who came in the name of christ and said they're jesus 
The white man did that. He came from 1492 throughout the 1600s. He set up that fake image of Jesus and slaughtered our people. Okay, you understand that? And they will read Matthew 24 on Sunday, but nobody understands what it means. Nobody will give the explanation of who Christ is talking about. Watch the next verse, Tad. Verse 6 says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So wars and rumors of war is coming behind the man that says he's Jesus. Understand that. So when a white man came in power, right behind him came wars and rumors of war. Wars and rumors of war. This is what we're seeing today. Now you've got Islam on the rise. Islam is rising up. When you read the Bible, the Arabs, listen good to what I'm saying, the Arabs descend from the children of Ishmael. When you read Genesis 16, the Ishmaelites, which come from Abraham, are the progenitor of the Arabs. And in Genesis, it tells you the nature of the Arabs. Let me read it for you, Tad, because I know your ministers are going to lie. They don't know anything. They're dumb as hell. Genesis 16, let me just read the point. It says, um, Genesis 16, 11, And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. So when it says Ishmael will be a wild man, how wild would the Arabs be? So wild they will strap vests with dynamite to just to prove a point and kill everybody in the room. That's how wild they are. The Bible is the only true book on the face of the planet Earth, and everything in it is coming to pass, everything. So our people need to stop playing games in these false Christian religions. Come out! And repent as Israelites. Means that you really preparing yourself towards the let me call it the day of uh, I don't know. I'm trying to give you some kind of uh, a tag. We talk about the 27th of this month coming. I mean, about seven days away from today, we are going to have an explosion in the studio live. Now we're going to oh, yes. tell us more about uh, what do you expect. We have actually sent out the um, the invitations to the some of the Ghanaian pastors and we're hoping and wishing that they give us a positive return i mean uh try to honor the invitations we've given out some of them to selected churches actually as we many as we could make time for we we cannot still say they are coming or not but they have seen the content of your invitation for sure so we'll wait and see but tell the world how you expect that day to be like just next week that day is that day is going to be a great day tad and i guarantee you your church ministers, these Christians will not be able to answer anything in the Bible. Because, number one, if they cannot prove that Jesus is white, they have to shut up. We don't want to hear from them no more. If you can't prove that lie, shut up. Stop letting them talk because they're on every Sunday running their mouth with lies. So the one first question to all your church ministers, prove that Jesus is white according to the Bible. I want to see the scripture. And if they can't do it, do not talk to me anymore. Just listen to what I'm bringing out of the scriptures, and that's it. You understand right. that, too? Well, there are so many things that I believe are going to come up on this one, but I'm um, quite about well, got a few minutes, about uh, three minutes, I guess, to wrap up. However, tell us, uh, you made a clear indication of uh, the bloodiest religions. I, I'm just going to try to make it snappy so that the question, the answer will be very snappy. I just have somebody asking, wow. The, the, the person just said, wow. Uh, on the Skype, wow. Uh, on, at a point when you said the bloodiest is the two top religions talk about uh, Christianity and Islam. And then you place Christianity at the top as the bloodiest and given way back backtrack history, you know, Talk about millions of people who have been massacred by Christians uh, in those yes. days. Now, that time, you saying Islam was quiet or was not no, in not existence? At not at all. Not at all. Islam went under the name, when you look up the sub-Sahara slave trade, they worked hand-in-hand -hand with the Christians in destroying the Israelites. So, uh, the so, Arabs get oh, no oh, Is it like the two of them were all doing a massacre? But however, the Christian massacre was overwhelming. Is that what yes, overwhelming time. Oh. Overwhelming. What, what is going to be the, the nature of the third world war we are predicting? Is it going to be a religious, uh, a religious war, or is it going to be created by some greedy politicians? 
that. It's going to be a combination of all because many times we try to separate religion from politics, but they always, like Christianity and democracy, you might think those are two different doctrines. They're the same. It's the same. Christianity says all people come together in Jesus. Democracy says the same thing. It's the same dragon. It's a two-headed beast. That's what Christianity and democracy is. We try to go for reparations for what they did to us. They shut us down. These are your Christians. Many, many Christian churches do not allow blacks here in America to even walk in there without it, us being It's your life in danger for what you are preaching. Say it again. It's your life in danger for what you are, what you are preaching. Well, the Most High protects me. All but in, real, in reality, we know. I know that you believe, and then l when you're doing the right thing, you know that God is. But it's, have you been been threatened I, before? We're threatened all the time, Tad. We're always threatened. Always, we get emails, phone calls about what people are going to do to us. It always happens. But the Bible is the only true book. I, I tell you, viewers, also get the apocrypha the apocrypha was at one time a part of the holy bible it was taken out by your protestant christian whites in the 1700s why because it gave clear description of what the arab nations would do in the last days All right. come together as one it, but they took it out so you don't know what's going to happen but we know the israelites know we're the only prophets of god and we can tell you what is going to come to pass Right, come 27th of November, live on this same network, it is time for you to begin to share on your social media platforms. Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ will be live on air for two hours, 7.30 to 9.30, live in Ghana and around the world. You know what it means. And for the first time, I'm very sure that a member of Israel United will be live in the studio, promising here in the studio. And probably if we got positive answers from some invited churches to... At least, I don't, I don't know if I should say they should donate <laughs> at least one member of their church onto this show because it's a show that is, uh, is a, it's for Israel United. However, they are asking you to come have your airtime. However, it's a donation. So come and have part of it and then also share your ideas on that. If you know any pastor who wants to take part, let a person contact GHD1 and then we can put you in and on if you are ready to actually come out with a divergent or if you also have a, an idea that you think, well, they are right, you can go along and that is what we want to see or what we are expecting. In other ways, we have to discuss it, you know, dispassionately. Bishop, finally, before we take leave of you. Yes. Please visit my website at www.israelunite.org or you can uh, call me at 718-303-9655. Okay. Right. Also, if your viewers, if they believe, if they believe, you can donate to me because I want to fly. I'm coming to Ghana. Okay. Israel, <laughs> Unite, and Yahoo on PayPal. Donate. Yeah okay <laughs> right thank you very much for that time you had with us and next week we're gonna have a long time on the radio so have yes, a blessed sir. day you right. too okay all, right. all praise thank you Ty. all right shalom right all right shalom right all right shalom I'm Elton Nathaniel with Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.